To create a new project, select File, New, C or C++ Project. This opens the C Project Wizard. On the, the first page of the wizard, you want to give your project a name. You want to specify where it lives, and by default, that's going to be inside your current workspace. Then you want to specify the type of project to create, and I'm going to create an executable that's going to run on the target. If you want sample code just to build to see if it'll run on the target real quick, you can select the factorial C project, otherwise leave it empty. You could also, from here, create a shared library, a static library, or if you already have existing code with a makefile or you want to create a makefile to control your build, you can create a makefile project. Then you want to make sure that you've selected your toolchain as well. And when you're done with that, click Next. This takes you to the Source Free Code Bench configuration page of the C Project Wizard. On this page, at a minimum, you must select a board. Boards are listed alphabetically by vendor. If I had a TI board, I would expand TI. And within there, there are a number of different boards. Select your board, click OK. If your board is not listed here, you could select configure manually, select OK, and then select your processor from the processor pull-down menu. Or if you're not sure what board you're going to use yet, or you don't have your board yet, but you still want to be able to build your code and, and run it and debug it, you can select the one of the QMU CPU emulators. And I'm going to select right now QMU's Delayer Simulator and click OK. Next to Profile, um, here my only option is Simulator, but if I had selected an actual target, I would select where my application is going to run, either RAM or ROM. Modify other options as needed, and when you are finished, click the Finish button. This creates your project and puts it into the Project Explorer for you. Now you're ready to write your code.